Welcome. Today, we'll be proving how quadrilaterals can be labeled as parallelograms. So let's start by remembering what a parallelogram is. So a parallelogram, it's a figure where opposite sides are parallel to each other. That's the definition of a parallelogram. Now, if that is the case, then there are certain properties that come with it. The properties for opposite sides is that opposite sides are congruent. So if that is the case, then we can say that the line segment BC is congruent to AD and the line segment AB is congruent to DC. In addition, opposite angles are also congruent. And if that's the case, then angle B is congruent to angle D and angle A is congruent to angle C. Adjacent angles are supplementary. So what that means is that if we obtain angle A and we add angle D, which notice that they are adjacent, they are within the same line, they're next to each other, then they will be equivalent to 180 degrees. And the same goes with A and B. Notice that Angle A and angle B are next to each other. They are adjacent. If we add them up, it's 180 degrees. And there's more. In terms of the diagonals of this parallelogram, if we draw the diagonal connecting A, point A to point C, and if we draw the other diagonal connecting point B to point D, notice that these diagonals, they intersect at a point. Let's call this point E. If that is the case, then diagonals bisect each other. What this means is that line segment BE is congruent to ED. The diagonal got cut in half, and also the other diagonal got cut in half. Therefore, the line segment AE is congruent to the line segment EC. So these are the properties that you want to consider when we are discussing a parallelogram. And if we ever want to show that a figure is a parallelogram, we need to show that any of these properties are fulfilled. Now, let's take a look at four different situations that will give us these properties. So when can we label quadrilaterals as parallelograms? Let's consider the following four situations. So here we have a quadrilateral ABCD. We don't know that this is a parallelogram. Now, what properties do they need to occur in order for us to make the conclusion that this is a parallelogram? Well, if the givens are that opposite sides are congruent to each other. So if we are given the information that CD is congruent to BA, and in addition, so let's put down a diagram, and then in addition, CB is congruent to DA, if this is the given, if we are being given a quadrilateral and we know that opposite sides are congruent to each other, then my conclusion is that we have a parallelogram. We have a parallelogram. Now, there's a second situation. So let's assume that ABCD is again, it's just a quadrilateral. Now, if we are given the following information, if we are given that one pair of opposite sides, one pair of opposite sides, which in this case, I'm going to choose the side CD and BA. If that pair has the following properties, if they are congruent, so let's say that if we know that CD and BA, if they are congruent, and in addition, they're also parallel, then this is enough information 
for us to make a conclusion. And the conclusion is the same. We have a parallelogram. We have a parallelogram. Now let's take a look at the third situation. So here we have our third scenario, another quadrilateral, A, B, C, D. And now let's think about the givens. If we are given the following set of information, if we are given that opposite angles are congruent, which in this case we are referring to angle AC, if we know that they are congruent, and in addition, we also know that angle B is congruent to angle D. If this is some information that we are given to us, then we can make a conclusion. And that conclusion is that the figure, it's a parallelogram. So we have a parallelogram. Now let's take a look at the last scenario that can give us the same conclusion. So same scenario, we have a quadrilateral. Now, if we are given the following information, if we are given that diagonals bisect each other, bisect each other. So let's show that on the diagram. Here we have a diagonal BD, and here we have our second diagonal CA. If they meet at a point, Let's call that E. In this case, if CE has the same length as EA and BE has the same length as ED, if diagonals bisect each other, then we can make the following conclusion. And that is that we have a parallelogram. So let's just summarize what we have done today. In here, we started by reminding ourselves what a parallelogram was. We started by looking at the different properties that come with a parallelogram. And then we started looking at different situations. And that is, if we are given a quadrilateral, if opposite sides are congruent to each other, then we can claim that that quadrilateral is a parallelogram. If we choose a pair of opposite sides, if those opposite sides are congruent, and in addition, they are parallel as well, then we can conclude that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. If we have a quadrilateral and we can see that opposite sides, I'm sorry, opposite angles are congruent to each other, then we can make the conclusion that we have a parallelogram. And if we look at a quadrilateral, if we identify their diagonals, and we can see that the diagonals bisect each other, then we can make the same conclusion, and that is that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Hello, if you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.